Hello, welcome back to Silverstone Shooting Centre. And this, I think, possibly will be one of our most popular videos when we're dealing with IPSC practical mini rifle. And that is the question of zeroing. Now, zeroing is a fairly straightforward process, but when it comes to mini rifle, in the UK especially, historically, it's always been shot at very short ranges, sometimes only 25 meters. So suddenly optic choice and zero becomes less of an issue. However, mini rifle technically should be shot up to 120 meters. Uh, here in, the, in Silverstone, we shoot up to 100 meters. So a lot of people coming here for competitions and saying, I don't know where I'm going 100 meters. I've never shot the gun beyond 50 meters. Now, obviously, it's our intention to try and expand the sport and expand people's knowledge of the sport. So what I'm going to do now is show you the procedure that I follow through uh, to zero rifle. Now, most people say, what you zero to, John? What would you zero at? Bear in mind you're shooting at distances from inches to 100 meters. And that's why I run multiple optics, a Hawk primary and a name point secondary red dot, which I'll go through in a second video and I've covered before anyway. But for the purposes of all zeroing, I run a zero to 25 meters. So that means my main primary optic, in my case, the Hawk Vantage Scope, uh, is zero to 25 meters. And I then hold over for different distances from one meter up to 100 meters. Now, this is also quite interesting about the Vector because it has a relatively high sight over bore in terms of the configuration of the barrel being quite low in the action compared to an AR, which is higher up, and obviously an optic up here, you'd imagine would be a huge difference. Now, here's where it's got interesting. With a 12 inch barrel and standard velocity ammunition, my zero widening position from one meter to 100 meters is smaller than with my Chris DK, which is a standard AR type platform. So, interesting to know. So, what I've done here at the range now, I'm in one of 100 meter ranges. And what I've done is I've put IPSC mini targets at 10 meters, 25, 50, 75, and then an IPSC full size target at 100 meters, which I can see on my TV here as well. And what I've done is I've zeroed my rifle to 25 meters. And then what I'm looking at is I'm shooting it from the same position, same day, same angle, same process, um, and seeing where my rounds hit on those targets, assuming I'm aiming right at the center of the target. Okay, that's the crucial thing about. I'm aiming for the center of the target because that's the fastest thing for me to get my eye onto. But what I've done, bear in mind, no round can be zero from one meter to 100 meters, is that I have set my zero 25 and I will then learn where I need to hold over on the different targets, how close they are. Now, I already know this, I've done this, I'm just going through it post the video, but I know, for example, at 100 meters, I need to aim at the top, uh, top quartile of the target, and that will get me nicely in the alpha. But I know from the 75, 50, and 25 meters, I'm pretty much there, thereabouts anyway, on a, on a micro target. But at 10 meters, I'm obviously shooting too low because it's zero at a different position. So I need to aim high. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put three rounds into each of these targets, aiming for exactly for the middle. So I'm not aiming for a particular score, I'm aiming for the exact same to the target. And then I'm gonna uh, shoot again, taking account of zero I've got from. All right, I'm also shooting off a bipod, which I'm gonna cover in another video later on. Um, I'm not looking for um, accuracy per se, I'm looking for zero position, all right? So I'm going to start with uh, 100 meters. Then come out to 75. Now to 50. Now it's 25, where I know I'm zeroed. And finally to 10, I'm going to zoom out for this. So granted, having a 100 meter range, I can do this on makes life a lot easier. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to walk down range and I'm going to see where my rounds have gone. So I can then determine 
And then remember, I'm aiming exactly for the center of the target. So I know they're going to be low and high, depending on what I'm aiming for. And I'm going to basically, so I can see where I need to aim and hold over for this point in time. Let's go have a look. So there you go, 10 meters. I'm aiming right smack in the center of the target here, and I'm about two and a half inches too low, as expected. So I'm zero at 25. I know I'm going to have to aim up a couple of inches to get into the alpha at a shorter distance shot. All right, onward to 25. Right, so here I'm at 25 metres. Obviously, I've pulled them over left a little bit of other concern. But I'm more concerned about the elevation I've gone from terms of the zero. So I'm smack centre of the target, which makes sense because I'm zero at 25 metres. Pulled it a bit, crappy shooting. But as long as I'm on this line, it's what I'm looking to do. So I know I'm zero at this point. Let's look at 50. Okay, so here's 50 metres. Now, again, I've pulled them a bit. Clearly, I'm not shooting very well, but it's primarily for the camera. I'm literally a little bit high. Pull the shot look crappy over here but i'm roughly a little bit high as you'd expect so if i'm zero at 25 meters i know at 50 meters it's not it's borderline the same it really is i always say to people 25 meters zero to 50 there's not really hold any hold over at all which reflects this the fact they're both left just yes i point to zero my scope on the left hand side more but the fact i'm in the right sort of area here means i'm happy so it means in shots between 50 and 25 meters i'm still aiming bob on for the center of the target i want to look at all right 75. Okay, so I'm at 75 metres, and as you can see, slightly low, not a huge amount. Again, from a zeroing perspective, bear in mind I'm aiming here. It's about an inch low, I'd say, take the account of the grouping, but 75 metres. But again, it's not a huge difference. 25.50 at 75 on the vector, the 12-inch barrel on a stand ammunition, is not a big drop. But we are starting to see a drop, so I'd probably say, take the account of your accuracy, we're looking about a 2-inch drop compared from 25 to 75 metres, which is about right. And finally, let's go look at 100 meters. Okay, so here I'm at 100 meters. Now again, I'm aiming in this center area here, middle of the alpha. And as you can see, I'm grouping just a bit too low. It's about four inches, four and a half inches maybe, which makes sense because at 75 meters, we're about one and a half, maybe two inches too low. And now at 100 meters, we're about four inches too low. So it means for purposes of holding over, I'll keep my zero at 25 meters, adjust my zero very small amounts for 50 meters, 75 meters. But for 100 meters, I'm gonna to aim top edge of the target. Now it's interesting because on my DMK with a 16 inch barrel, same ammunition, I had to aim at the very top edge of the target to actually get into an alpha. Whereas with the Vector with a 12 inch barrel, same ammunition, I'm actually aiming a little bit lower to maximize my alpha score. As it is, I'm not unhappy with that at 100 meters. Granted, I'm shooting off a, tri a bipod, which makes life a lot easier. But in terms of the zero capacity for the, for the four distances, I can then work out in terms of where I need to aim. Keep my zero at 25 meters, but knowing that I need to aim up about four or five inches, 100 meters, up a couple of inches at about 75 meters, but pretty much maintain that zero at 50 and all the way up to seven, so at 25, all the way up to 50. Also, when I'm not near, near a distance, I know I'm going to shoot a lot higher because my rounds are going to be about four inches lower. So my zero between 100 meters and 10 meters, pretty much the same holdover which is not uncommon on the mini rifle. All right, so that's what I try to do. Hopefully that's useful. Obviously people who are members here can use the range for that purpose, which is useful. But if your own range, obviously you should be able to at least, you know, put targets out at different distances, maintain your zero, and then move from there. Hope that's useful. Any questions, obviously do please let me know. Do subscribe as well. We've got some more videos coming as well. So hopefully that's worth having. All right, see you again soon. Cheers.